Hi, this is Jennifer Gonzalez. I am here for Cult of Pedagogy, and I would like to teach you about a great game called Crumple and Shoot. I've been playing it with students for years. Everybody as young as uh, grade six all the way through college, but I think it would work well with upper elementary students too. As long as the students are able to actually write down their answers quickly, then they would love this game. It's high energy, it is low tech, it's cheap, and it's very uh, content driven. So, let's show you how to play. So, the way that Crumple and Shoot is played is you start off by putting students into groups. Let's say you have a group of X's, a group of O's, and a group of triangles. You have been blessed with a class of only 12 students. So, this will just make it easier. So, you give each group a stack of paper, and you start asking questions. Let's make it a simple one. You ask them, what is 21 divided by seven? And you throw that question out and all the group members huddle together and they discuss the answer. They come to a consensus and then one person gets one sheet of paper and writes down the answer. This is the correct answer. So, once they've all got their answer, they wait for the signal from you and you say all at once, answers up, and one person from each group hands, holds up that group's answer. If they got it right, then one person from that group gets to stand up, crumple their paper, and come to a spot in the room to shoot it into the wastebasket. If they get it in, their group gets a point. If they don't get it in, they don't get a point. So in order to get a point, each group has to get an answer correct and be able to get that answer into um, the basket. So it's um, a little bit of sports and a little bit of content, and that's what makes it kind of fun. So. Um, let me just show you the logistics. So you take maybe this person and this person and this person and they would all walk to a spot in the room. One moment. Okay, so they've all traveled. They're all in line now with their papers in hand. They get in line and once, one at a time, they stand in line behind you. You'll have a piece of tape on the ground. You have your trash can up here. And once, one at a time, they take their turns, they shoot it in and you just keep tallies on the board. It's fun to have the groups name themselves, as long as that's not too time consuming. And, um, and then that's how the game is played. So um, on the website, I'm going to put sort of full uh, directions, some, uh, some rules that you can give the kids, some uh, tips and pointers to help it go better. But um, this is an extremely versatile game and my students have always really looked forward to it. So um, you may already be playing something like this, but I thought I would pass it along in case you didn't. Have fun with it and have a great day.